Hey, good morning everyone. It's Corey here. I'm in my Airbnb here in Bangkok. This is my first like real full day where I'm gonna wake up and go to sleep still in Bangkok. Before I head out today and kind of like do some sightseeing, look for food and a little bit of shopping, um, I wanted to show my Airbnb real quick. All right, here's the door. And as you come in, this is it. It's super simple. It's just a nice comfy bed with AC heater. The AC is very crucial here in Thailand. TV, kind of like a kitchen island thing. Inside's got some plates and bowls and utensils. Fridge, there it is. Fridge, hello. Microwave, hello. And this is the bathroom. It's like a Oompa Loompa Wonderland up in here. <laughs> it is a wet bath, so you can see there's no curtain or anything, but very nice water heater. I really like that. One of the things I wanted to point out to you guys was the view. So I'm on the second floor, unfortunately, and this is the view. I've got this like off ramp for one of the, I guess like expressways around here. It's right outside the window. And look at all those wires. But this is Bangkok for you guys. This is kind of like a little balcony patio thing uh, where you can dry your clothes and it has like a table and some kind of like utility sink. Anyway, that's it for the quick tour of the Airbnb. Let's go. Hey, this truck reminds me of the ones in Japan, all chromed out. So I found all the eateries right across the street from my Airbnb in this market. Very cool. I found some baked chicken and somtam the salad, papaya salad, and then check out all these little goodies here. I don't know what is what. <laughs> so I don't know how to read Thai. I have no idea what the names of the dishes are, but these people were very nice and uh, the guy helped me pick out some chicken. And we're just gonna check it out. This is gonna be my breakfast. I'm just gonna go with this chicken. Dip it in the sweet and sour sauce. Very juicy. This is gonna be awesome. You can see there's like these little dried shrimps, little baby shrimps on there. We got the green papaya sliced up. I don't know what else is in here. Oh, I got some tomato and it looks like a peanut. I don't know what kind of chilies is, are making this really hot, but it is awesome. I really like this salad. Green bean. I feel like I'm eating healthy. It's because I am. I'm so happy, guys. The last time I came here, three months ago, it was during a national holiday. I didn't check the holiday schedule. My day spent in Thailand was on December 5th. It's National Day, Father's Day, and the King's Birthday, all in one. That was my first time to Bangkok. Everything was closed. I didn't really have a chance to find these like eateries or street food. There was like no street food anywhere. So this time around, I made sure I wasn't coming during a national holiday. This is some of the most amazing, most fresh tasting food I've had in a very, very long time. So I just turned down some random back alley and that's what's really cool about Bangkok is no matter what alleys you go down, there's always just some kind of like vibrant neighborhood. So I just stumbled upon this like market alley. I'm gonna go in it. Cool. I love this. Found the produce section. So I ended up in some narrower alleys deeper into the neighborhood. And there's still people selling stuff here. It's very interesting. So 
I ended up under this uh, expressway and it looks like there's a little market like street food kind of uh, like shop restaurant area. So as I walk along, I'm noticing there's a lot of uh, beautification projects going on. There was people back there painting uh, tires white with different like polka dot colors. And you know, they're planting like really beautiful plants here. You know, they're gonna turn this essentially like into a park or something down here. It just looks really nice. This walk was definitely a great way to get a real feel for Bangkok neighborhoods. Everyone I encountered was extremely friendly and there was street food everywhere. As I arrived to the Victory Monument Circle, I was quickly surrounded by tons of shopping areas for women's clothing. Bangkok really is one of the largest shopping cities in the world. Monument area. I heard that there's some um, street food around here, and I also heard that it was a very popular place for some boat noodles. So I'm gonna go check out what the boat noodles are all about. So here's one of the many canals, and I can see some signs that say the best of the boat noodle. Each bowl is actually quite small. When ordering, just choose the items from the menu and tell them which type of noodles you'd like. There's plenty of condiments on each table, but don't be shocked to see tons of ants in the sugar. Okay, this first one is uh, boat noodles with thick soup and beef. You can see it looks very hearty and the broth is really dark. It looks like there's some green onions and some black pepper and it looks like a fish ball, like a fish cake kind of a ball. And I see a piece of beef in there. And this one is the boat noodles with a sour soup and pork. So I'm not sure what makes it sour, but I can see some bean sprouts and it looks like peanuts and red chili flakes. Let's uh, doctor this up a little bit. So I got some uh, red chili flakes here. Gonna pour that in there. Oh, that looks nice. I'm gonna only put just a little bit in this one because it looks like it already has some spices in there. The broth is really hearty. I added that the chili flakes, nice kick to it. The bowls are very small, but it's good because then you can just like sample it and then keep going. I do have to say the sour one actually doesn't taste sour at all, but this is my favorite. I'm so glad that it's small portions so I can just eat these and then hit the road and keep eating. picked up some food to go going back to the Airbnb it's starting to rain and uh, my driver was like going all crazy through the traffic we got to my Airbnb really fast which is awesome um, but yeah it's starting to rain so I can't really um, 
walk around or film anything. So just got some quick food, kind of like a little dinner, and then uh, gonna eat that for you guys. So let's take out some of the stuff and look at it. This is, uh, looks like sweet and sour, or sweet and spicy chili sauce. Uh, here's a different type of sauce. So I'm not sure what this is called, but I've seen it like while walking around. I asked for spicy because he wanted to give me that and I was like, uh, spicy, spicy. <laughs> and so he gave me this and he was very nice about that. He also gave me some, whoa, it's hot. This is chicken soup in a bag. It is, oh my God, it's so hot, I can't even hold it. Yeah, you can see in there, there's some cilantro and there's pieces of chicken. I guess this is like chicken soup. So I've got a bowl here for that. And then this is the main thing here. So it's just some like simple paper that was used to wrap all of this with a rubber band. Oh, look at that, it's like a flower blooming. And this is it. So let's go ahead and try the broth itself. I'm very excited about this. Oh, yeah, that's good. Mm. Okay, now I have the sauce bag open, but I don't have any kind of container or a dish to put it in. So I'm just gonna keep it in the bag like this and hopefully it doesn't spill over. So I'm just gonna use my fingers and get some of this chicken and the rice together. And then how can I get this sauce out onto my hand here? Oh yeah, that smells nice and strong. Ah! All right, anyways, we're eating with our fingers. That is so good. Excuse my language, I just couldn't help myself. This sauce is so nice. It adds a really good spice. I found this uh, kind of like a shallow bowl and uh, I poured that sauce in there so you can actually see it very well now. I'm gonna dip my chicken only, no rice, just chicken all up in here. Oh, this is gonna be nice. Mm. I wish I could buy a bunch of this and then fly it back to Vietnam with me. I'm gonna have to learn how to make this recipe at home. It's really good. No words. So good. This was only 45 baht, takeout right across the street. Uh, it just doesn't get better than that, guys. I checked out of my Airbnb the following morning and left my bag in a locker at Siam Paragon. I only had half a day to spend before having to go to the airport, so I knew exactly where I wanted to go. Wat Pho, also known as the Temple of the Reclining Buddha, has been on my bucket list for years. It houses the famous 46 meter long statue of Buddha in a reclining position, and he's completely covered in gold leaf.
Wat Pho is not only a house for Buddhism, it's also Thailand's first public university and it's a school for medicine and Thai massage to this day. After spending several hours exploring the huge, beautiful temple complex, I knew where my last stop in Bangkok was going to be. This unassuming restaurant tucked away in some back streets is very famous for having the best Tom Yum Gung in all of Bangkok. After eating my amazing meal, it was time for me to go get my bags and head to the airport. go to the airport bar and I get some kind of a beer. Since I'm in Thailand, I wanted to do Singha. Alright, so thanks for watching guys. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Leave any questions and comments down below. Any information that I can possibly dig up about restaurants and other stuff that you saw in the video, it's going to be in the description box down below. I'll see you guys back in Vietnam. Cheers! <laughs>